Hi everyone, it's New Jersey Garden. These are my two sets of cucumber plants. And they're getting pretty tall. I have them trellised on little um, stakes and this um, metal trellis here as well. And what I use for my ties, I use these little green Velcro plant ties to try to tie up the stalks. I need to do a little more tying up. Sometimes they, the, the tendrils sort of like just attach on by themselves. Um, and other times they need some help. But they've gotten pretty tall and today I'm gonna harvest some of the cucumbers and show you the differences between these two varieties. Over here on the right, I have what's called a swing cucumber and it has only female flowers. And I believe it was supposed to be seedless, but because I have it next to another variety, um, when they get, when the flowers get pollinated, I think that could um, result in some seeds. So I've been picking a few of these over the last couple weeks and they do have seeds and they do taste different and look different. So I'll show you the differences. Um, first, I'll try to find a swing cucumber in here. You can usually just twist and peel them off, but I, or you can just push with your thumb. There's one right there. We had a couple thunderstorms recently, so Cucumbers always seem to pop up uh, when there's a lot of rain. So these, I've noticed, are pretty uniform in, in look. They kind of look like the ones you find in the store. Let's see if I can find some more. There's another one. I might wait one more day for that one. Here's one. I don't know if you guys can see see these. It's like a jungle in here. Now that one kind of got a little yellow. That might not taste so great. They usually um you don't want to pick them when the ends are yellow. There's another one. So it's been about a week since I've picked cucumbers. This is a lot here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's another one. I give some cucumbers away to my coworkers because um, I can't possibly eat all these, but I'd love to learn how to make um, pickles. I'd love to grow pickling cucumbers next year. Oh, there's one way in there. Cucumbers are very easy to grow. Just looking around to see if there's any more swing cucumbers. Um, that's quite a lot. So that's what I have for the swing cucumbers for today. Now let's go over and look at the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers. 
Now I had a lot of male flowers on this plant and I've only harvested a couple of cucumbers so far. I noticed last year I grew these and I had a lot more later in the season. So sometimes the, the, female, the fruit develops from the female flowers and sometimes the um, female flowers take a while to show up. The difference I've seen with these Ukrainian cucumbers versus the swing cucumbers is that the Ukrainian ones have these little tiny bumps so they come off very easily. And the skin is quite a bit, quite a bit thinner than the swing cucumbers. And in general, the Ukrainian cucumbers are um, just wider looking. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, there's another one. There's one. See those bumps? They come off really easily. You just rub them off. They're just like little prickles. Last year, with this um, Ukrainian variety, I had so many towards the end of August. So even though I don't have a lot to harvest today, I know I'll be getting a lot more. So today I harvested four Ukrainian slicing cucumbers and eight swing cucumbers. And you can kind of tell the difference in the way they look. The um, Taste is a little bit different. I'm going to taste them now and show you what they look like. Pick this one. I brought my cutting board out to the garden. I brought my cutting board out to the garden, so I'm going to cut them open and show you the differences. This is the Ukrainian. I had to put the camera down for a second because I couldn't cut with the uh, while holding the phone. Um, so these are what the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers look like. They're very juicy. They're delicious. They seem to have a lot of water content. And I love how thin the skin is. So those of you who usually peel off the cucumber skin, you may find that you don't need to with the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers. Now I'm gonna go over here and cut a swing cucumber. As you can see, the swing cucumbers are a little bit smaller in diameter than the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers. I'm going to try one. They're very good as well. I find that these taste a little more like cucumbers you find in the grocery store. There's definite juiciness, but they're just not as juicy as the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers. And I think I appreciate the thinner skin of the Ukrainian slices and cucumbers. But they're both delicious.
I feel like the flavor is very similar. Um, it's just the juiciness difference and the the um, texture of the skin that seems to be the major differences between the two. So um, I prefer the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers um, juiciness, but they're both very good. And I kind of like that I have two growing at once so that since I don't have a lot of the Ukrainian slicing cucumbers right now, I have a lot of the swing cucumbers um, that I was able to harvest. So it's nice having two varieties. Next, we're gonna go look at the beans and check out my two types of beans that I have growing. Look at that, guys. That's not bad for cucumbers. I have two different types of pole beans growing here. And I really should have had taller stakes. The stakes are leaning over and basically I taped two small stakes together to create some taller stakes, but next year I'm gonna have much taller stakes. I have a purple variety called Carmenet, and then a green variety called Emirate. And so far the Emirate beans have been a lot more um, productive. They've pumped out a lot of beans. And the purple beans are great because I love the flavor more but there's just not as many. And part of that is my fault. I didn't grow enough of the purple beans. I think I only planted about five or six um, uh, Carmenat plants and about um, 10 Emirate plants. So it just looks a little messy because they're kind of toppling over. Um, but I'm gonna harvest some right now so you can see them. There's just so many emirate beans. The color on the carmenet beans is very nice. It's a dark purple. I have this little bench here. I'm just putting them down on the bench. And both sets of beans get really long. They're very easy to pick. And what's kind of fun about the purple beans is they turn green when they're cooked. This pole is totally falling over. I'm gonna to try to push it into the ground.
Wow, look at how long this bean is. I just broke off the end. But. Some of them are a good six inches. Sometimes the beans can get a little curvy like this. As you can see, these green beans are really productive. This bean plant got about eight feet tall and it wanted to keep climbing. And then the vine just kind of um, fell down. And then it, now it's just coming back down. So there's a lot of beans on this one vine. This is the sunniest spot in the garden. I can't believe the harvest I'm getting today. Look at all those beans. There's some peas in there, um, sugar snap peas over there. But look at all those beans. This emirate variety is so productive. So this is today's harvest of beans. A lot more green beans than purple beans and it's only been about a week since I harvested some beans so we had a couple thunderstorms like I mentioned and I think that um, 
helped produce some more beans. But look at that, that's crazy. This is an herb called borage that I showed in a couple other videos, but it's just been really nice to have. I had to pull out one of the plants because it toppled over after a rainstorm. But they have really pretty blue flowers and the bees really love this flower, so. It's a companion plant for some vegetables. I'm growing some patty pan squash and I'll let this grow maybe one more day before picking it. Um, the flavor is similar to zucchini. It's kind of like in between zucchini and yellow squash in my opinion. And I have a few pretty robust plants. So I've been harvesting patty pan squash recently. I don't know if there's one more down there. So I'll probably get these two tomorrow. They're an inter interesting shape. And then I have some dill growing, which is so lovely. I love the flowers of dill. And I've been using the dill in salads and with the cucumbers. And I believe this is called mammoth dill. And it just started to flower. And these flowers just popped up. These were from a couple years ago in this garden. I had planted a lot of Gloriosa daisies and they're really nice. They look really nice in this spot. So as you can see, the cucumbers are like, it's like a jungle in here. And then over here I have a lot of Swiss chard which I've been harvesting. And then this tomato plant popped up. Um, I grew big boy and big girl last year. So this is probably a big boy or a big girl. And, oh, look, the sunflower is starting to bloom. That one has a dark center, I think. This was also from a couple years ago when I was planting, I had planted some sunflowers in here with some cut flowers. So that's a variety that I had grown from a couple years ago. And then there's another one. Not sure what variety that is. But as you can see, the Swiss chard looks really healthy. This is called rainbow chard. And initially I had either slugs or beetles or something was eating the leaves. And lately they've been left alone. So I'm happy that the leaves look a little better and it's a very tasty vegetable. And here are the sugar snap peas and they've pretty much finished their production. I'm going to harvest a few right now. They taste better before they get so big like this and they're kind of breaking off the stems. So they should be picked when they look more like that, a little bigger than that, when they're a little more flat. 
I mean, it's still flowering, but I can tell it's at the end because I'm just getting a lot of these really big pot, fat pods and just not a lot of peas. So that one broke. I'm gonna grow these next year. These are called super sugar snaps and they had a little bit of a delayed start because we had a groundhog in the garden that was eating them a couple times. So I'm gonna grow these next year and I had about 30 plants in here and uh, the one thing I noticed is the plants aren't super productive. I mean, I did get quite a number of peas over the season, but it's not as productive as like a cucumber or the beans. Here's a, here's a cluster of peas. That's a little too small, so I waited another day for it to pick that one. There's some aphids on these, but I just brushed them off.